Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hey, love the show. So I saw the wrinkle this past weekend. They got Goodwin back. So hopefully him and Joe can make that deep threat connection that we've been waiting on all year. He's our guy. So hopefully, you know, a couple of appearances last week because the defense is forgetting about him. Hopefully they get him this week with the down pass, get him that long bomb, you know, air it out to him. I'm a Flacco fan now that he's in a Cleveland uniform. I think we can be formidable. The offense is getting better every week. We're just getting punished with injuries, but we'll figure it out. Go Browns. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And Quincy, uh, yeah, Goodwin is a guy that, you know, he's, he's made for Joe Flacco's arm. Uh, let's hope he can stay on the field. Yeah, I hope he can stay on the field. I hope he can separate. You know, I, I would be a little bit wary about pushing Joe Flacco's arm at this point. Like, he can still throw it. He can still put a lot on it. I think he's really good in that intermediate part of the field, and I think that's where he really executed well last week. I don't really know if I want to see him push, like, 40, 50-yard bombs because he did have a problem driving those things in L.A. Maybe that might have been a first-game back situation, but we'll see. They're going to try it, right? Why not? Why not try it? I mean, look, in, in about a couple weeks here, you're going to have so many injuries that you're going to resort to no trick plays. Like, that's just going to be what it is. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think, you know, why not? The more options you can get in there and the more guys you can get away from the line of scrimmage by giving you that deep threat, the more, uh, reason to go for it.